Hi everyone. I hope you had a great Memorial Day weekend. I for one had a phenomenal one. I had the opportunity to spend it at a retreat. Um, it was on a lake in Pennsylvania. The event was hosted by my friend Yoga by Bridget and it was so rejuvenating for my soul. It was exactly what I wanted and needed and to be in nature, eating good food, um, the, and we spent our time meditating, doing yoga, journaling, paddling, um, going for hikes, seeing really cool animals like foxes and deer and bears. Um, it was just absolutely beautiful weekend. It was so good for my soul, my nervous system. It was everything I wanted and more. And then by a stark contrast, I was walking through the airport last night and I just couldn't believe how much alcohol there was in the airport. Um, I guess I haven't been on a plane in a while. And I mean, it was just like every two feet. There was duty free shops, restaurants, bars, wine bars, breweries, um, et cetera. And it just got me thinking to back to the days of, um, you know, when I was struggling and how hard it was for me to walk by that level of temptation. You know, we're talking um, 2018, 2019 was when my cravings were at the worst of the worst. My anxiety was at the worst. Um, I was battling a depression, not surprisingly, um, because of what I was going through. And because, um, you know, we know alcohol is a depressant. So it was just compounding um, everything that was going on. So, it just, it just made me so relieved uh, to be where I am right now. And, you know, once I discovered gray area drinking coaching, which focuses on the nervous system and healing the craving brain, I mean, that was the, the game changer for me. That's when I could actually be around alcohol and not feel tempted to drink it. Um, you know, when I was just trying things like um, therapy, group therapy, quit lit, um, uh, sober Facebook groups, um, and things like that. Like those things were helping me, of course, but none of those things stopped the cravings. So that's really where I found the shift because when you actually address the cravings and you use physiology, um, that was like a missing, a missing puzzle piece for me. And so now for two and a half years, um, I don't have cravings anymore. I'm not tempted to drink alcohol. Um, I just view alcohol for exactly what it is. Um, it's a toxin. It's not good for your nervous system, your body, your organs. Um, and, you know, I see that now. I know it. And I live that every day, of course, um, now that I have become a gray area drinking coach myself. So anyway, I just want to say that if you got through this weekend without drinking, um, good job major kudos. Um, I know how hard it is when alcohol is just in your face like that. And of course, you know, when it's a holiday weekend and there's parties and barbecues, what do we do? We always associate in our society celebrating with alcohol. So I'm sure that many of you had it in your face this weekend. Um, and you know what, even if you stumbled, even if you slipped and gave, gave in, it's okay. It's, that's part of the process too. I went through that for a really long time. I mean, I spent a couple of years, um, you know, when the cravings were at their worst struggling. And, um, so it, all I can say to that is please don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. Um, you know, one day, one day it can stick for you. And once, once it, once it not just sticks, but really kind of everything clicks and you, start to see alcohol for what it is and you find a way to um, get rid of those cravings. Uh, there is nothing like it. I mean, it's just pure freedom. So anyway, that's my message to all of you. And please let me know if you have any questions, if you need any resources, you can um, check out my website. I post a lot of great articles. Um, I average about every other week now, different blog articles and different topics all having to do with health and or alcohol. And uh, yeah, so let me know what I can do 
for you and how we can support you. And uh, that's it. So bye for now.